Hello friends, so far we have studied about the working mechanism and constructions of semiconductors. Now let's have a look on how the applications of semiconductors is there in real world. Now semiconductors are basically used in LEDs, xenodiodes and photovoltaic cell. Now let's start with the first LED. Now, LED stands for light emitting diode. Well, you see anywhere you'll always find LEDs right from your televisions to the notifications of your phone. LED has a wide variety of applications. It is basically a diode which is having a phenomenon of light emission. So basically in this diode, you have an anode as in cathode just like in the PN junction, but the only thing is when there is a migration of electrons and holes, the energy is released in the visible range of the electromagnetic spectrum and that is why we can see the light. So basically the same diode which we denote is drawn with two arrows which indicates the light emission. Now they have wide variety of applications as in you can see Signage boards are made using LEDs to make it more attractive and also LEDs are used in 7 segment display which is here which is commonly used in lifts, elevators, it is also used in single indicators and your traffic signals to indicate time so on and so forth. The most important principle behind using LEDs is its power consumption. The power consumption of LED is much 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 less than what the traditional filament tubes or neon light does. So this could be a most important question for your viva why LEDs are preferred over filament tubes because they are energy efficient. Now the second application is xenodiode. Now xenodiode again is same as a regular diode but it is always used in reverse biased mode. A normal diode as you know is indicated with this symbol whereas xenodiode has a symbol something similar to this but we make the legs tilted to make it different from the PN junction diode. This is the xenodiode. Now, how is xenodiode attached to this circuit and why it is useful? This xenodiode is used as a voltage regulator. It is used as voltage regulator. Now, as you know, a diode in reverse bias always maintains the breakdown voltage till a point beyond which it goes under avalanche breakdown. But Till the point the avalanche breakdown comes, a diode always tries to maintain that voltage. So this is how Zener diode is fabricated. If you try to use Zener diode in forward bias, it will just work as normal PN junction diode. This again could be a tricky question for your viva. Make sure Zener diode if under forward bias works as good as your normal PN junction diode. But a normal PN junction diode, if it's reverse biased, will have a breakdown voltage which is far, far, far away from its forward bias voltage. But in case of Zener diode, the reverse breakdown voltage is almost equal to 3.5, 5.8. There are various special values under which Zener diode is fabricated. So basically, Zener diodes are meant only for the use of reverse biased mode and wherein they are used as voltage regulator. Let's say suppose this Zener diode comes with a value of 5.8 volts. So what will happen? Any input voltage you give on this side, this load will always be across the 5.8 volts. Of course, this input voltage has to be greater than 5.8 volts for this circuit to be active. So far so good. So this is the most important and trickiest question of your viva and of course, it comes less in terms of university papers but more in case of vivas and practicals. So make sure whenever examiner asks you to draw a Zener diode, always make this tilted ends on the cathode side and whenever if he asks you to put the Zener diode, always make sure you put it in the reverse biased mode. Now, the next application is photovoltaic cell is nothing but as 
technical name for a solar cell it is nothing but as a film which absorbs the sunlight or the photons and then with this photons the electrons and holes are recombined which leads to the flow of electricity so semiconductors have a great role in manufacturing of photovoltaic cell which is also at times called as pv cells now again an important question for your viva which type of current does pv cell emit always remember pv cell emits a direct current so it always emits a direct current another question could be solar cell always give direct current how it can be used in your home appliances well the answer to this is by use of inverters inverter as a device which converts the dc current to ac current and hence we can use this in our day to day applications or household appliances so always remember solar cell is going to give you a dc current or a direct voltage with the help of inverter only you can convert this in into a sinusoidal voltage or an ac voltage to get it applications on your household devices thank you so much for watching this video for more content stay tuned to ekeda and subscribe to ekeda